السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیک ان لیکچر تھرٹی فائیو اوکے ان دس لیکچر ان شاء اللہ وی ول کور ٹو ایگزامپلس انالیسز آف ٹروسز اوکے دا فرسٹ ایگزامپل از اے لٹل بٹ ایزی وچ از دس ون کلیئر اٹ از اے لٹل بٹ لٹل بٹ ایزی ایگزامپل کلیئر بٹ دا سیکنڈ ون از بیسیکلی اے ٹریکی ون اوکے that will be uh, you can uh, see that that example will be this one clear so the modeling of this type of process basically it is a very uh, complicated task okay it needs some kind of mathematical works after then you can you will be able to to to, to model it clear so inshallah we will discuss it let we will basically do this simple truss analysis and then we will do the uh, second one clear so we 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 model this truss on using 2d truss template clear so basically in that template we need uh, divisions so in this truss basically we have division number 1 division number 2 division number 3 and division number 4 clear and the span of division is 10 feet which is constant clear and the height of the division is you can see that this is 10 feet the units are in kefs 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 feet clear so you you see that there is 10 there is 15 and there is 5 kef so let model the uh, truss and see the results clear make sure units will be kef feet we will using 2d truss model we have how much divisions 1 2 3 4 we have four divisions so select that is your you have four division and the span of the division is 10 feet and the height of the division is 10 feet clear okay now this is the truss clear make sure you will be in exi plane you have hinge and a ruler and there you have a hinge and a ruler clear now we have to model uh, we we need to you know uh, to model basically this type of truss okay and we have a different type of truss so basically we we we, we do some kind of work okay Uh, you must make sure that these grids are basically on 5 5 meter interval 5 5 feet interval clear and the distance between from this to this node is basically 10 feet clear now we can see this basically we have you know you see that at a distance of you know at a distance of 20 feet clear we have a vertical member then incline then incline then vertical then incline then incline clear so at a distance of 10 feet at a distance of 10 pin this is distance you know this is distance 5 so we choose this one click it this is distance 5 and this is distance 10 so we click there okay and then need to develop a vertical member okay that will be this one then we need to click at a distance of 10 feet that is the point g clear so this is 5 feet this is 10 feet and this is point g clear and then we need to click on at point d you know which is which is 10 feet from g g okay so from this is point d which is you know 5 and 10 clear and then we need to develop a vertical member then we need to click 
another point that is you know yes that is C so C at the mid in between mid okay this one and then we need to click there okay now we see that how we will develop okay we don't need these three one delete it we don't need these three members these three members okay okay delete it we don't need basically we don't need a Fit. we don't need uh, these these members okay okay this is and this one we don't need this one okay and now the rest of the member we need it clear so select this one we need this one this one and this one so this is I think so the required truss right now okay we have a vertical member we have a vertical member okay let's see we have a vertical member and we have a vertical then you coming in this line then there and then you you have this kind of members so I think we done that and now we will assign the joints forces so first we need 10 okay at a distance of 10 feet okay so at this point we have to assign a joint load that is make sure this is zero okay this is zero modified okay and in z direction we have with a negative 10 clear that is 10 is assigned there we need basically uh, there we need basically assign uh, a force of I think so 15 caps and the other is 5 cap clear so assign join force we need here uh, minus 15 cap okay and we need there a 5 cap load um, minus 5 cap load so joints are assigned loads are assigned members are assigned okay check it and then go for, to analyze the structure save it this is example number 48 okay and now uh, one thing must you make sure that we don't we, we only need to determine the force member in GB clear so where we have GB this is GB so what will be the amount let's check it GB is basically 1.1 kf okay 1.19 kf that is intention so let's check it this is GB member and we have okay we have 1.11 clear so and the member is in tension you know you see that the member is in tension so the amount is very small therefore it uh, it is very difficult to see you can see there the member is 1.11 you can say and there we have basically 1.19 so the result is accepted and uh, now we go to solve the other example okay so this was done clear now we 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 basically solve this example so this example is basically a little bit tricky because here you cannot use the 2d trust template okay if you are using them so it is very uh, tricky for you okay it is very complicated for you okay first of all we need you know uh, if I uh, 
show you okay we need here to determine you know in x direction we have grid 1 You see that in x direction we have grid 1 we need to create a grid there and we need to create grid there and then we need to create grid there so in x direction basically we have x1 x2 x3 and x4 that's I assume that we need a B sorry this is point B this is point C and this is point B so we need a B we need BC and we need CD okay and in Z direction we need Z1 we need Z2 we need Z3 and we need Z4 okay so basically this is Z1 this is Z2 this is Z3 and this is Z4 okay we need this spacing we need this spacing and we need this spacing clear now what is now our approach to determine these spacing we can we, we first of all determine you know the horizontal spacing okay we can determine this this distance okay that by using you know this is 45 degree so this angle will also be 45 degree okay and we have this member length is 13 feet so this member length will be 13 feet clear so we can create this triangle or we can shape this triangle we can make this triangle clear and from this triangle basically by using trigonometrical ratio this is 13 and this is 45 okay so we can calculate this height as well this height by 1 as well and this x distance as well clear uh, how we can calculate okay uh, y1 can be calculated from by using the trigonometrical ratio y1 equals to sine you know sine 45 will be equals to perpendicular divided by uh, hypotenuse so if you make uh, cross multiplication you can get y1 is equal to 13 into sine 45 so this will give you the uh, the value of y1 and similarly x1 will be you know will be determined by 13 cos of 45 clear and this will give you the results of x so if you use your calculator you can get the values 13 sine 45 okay gives you 9.19 this one will be 9.19 and 13 cos of 45 will give you 9.19 so this is 45 degree angle so you must know that for 45 degree the base and perpendicular will be the same clear so you now you will you will determine a b spacing as you know BD spacing will be 9.19 so by the same approach okay you can calculate you know the rest of uh, work okay now one can make different approaches for to determining these heights and these spacing okay the approach which I will make for this okay I will show you that how I will calculate the 
such distances this is the figure you know that i will make this calculation for you people and i want to just show you because it will takes time okay so i basically this member is inclined okay this member is inclined having a length of 12 feet so i i i convert this inclined member in a triangle you know you see this triangle okay this shape of triangle okay this shape of triangle now this shape tri of triangle is there you know the inclined distance is basically 12 feet i assume that this is x and i assume that this is y the height of this triangle is basically y and the base of this triangle is x clear this 12 feet is basically you can see this one this this is 12 feet now what i need i need this angle okay i need this angle clear so this angle can be determined from with the reference of these two angles i know that this angle is this member making an angle of 45 degree which is given there okay and i can calculate this angle this angle alpha basically by using this triangle this this and this triangle clear i choose this triangle and i draw this triangle there you can see this is perpendicular okay this is this is the right angle triangle uh, right angle okay this member is basically at an at a 90 degree with the with this member clear so you can see this is 5 feet and this is 12 feet okay by using trigonometrical ratio you can determine alpha alpha is equal to tangent inverse 5 divided by 12 which give you 22.62 degree so alpha is 22.62 degree now you can see that you can see that this member you have one member E D member and then you have another member that is B E member and you have horizontal line with the horizontal basically this is E okay and this is side B point B and this is point D this B E basically making an angle of 45 degree okay so this is 45 degree and B the angle between D E and B E we calculate it and that is alpha okay so if we add these two angles clear if we add these two angles we can determine the whole angle okay and now I select I form a triangle like in this shape there so you know I need this angle okay that is angle theta clear now this angle is basically 90 degree this line is basically perpendicular to this point E with this line clear this horizontal line so if this is this 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 angle is 90 degree and I know this angle okay because I calculate it so if I subtract this angle from this 90 degree I can give I can get this theta so this theta will be equals to 90 minus alpha plus 45 degree clear so alpha is calculated that is 22 point something this is 45 subtract this one you can get theta is equal to 22.38 degree okay which is shown right there 22.38 clear now I will use this triangle right now because theta is known one side is known by using the trigonometrical ratio you can get X and Y okay how you can get you know the, the side which is per which is which is in front of which is which is just in front of the the angle that is your perpendicular and the side which is which is adjacent with the your angle that is your base so y is your base and x is your perpendicular now y is your base so you know base is related with cos so therefore 12 multiplied by cos theta 
this one and theta is equal to 22.38 and x is perpendicular so we relate with x perpendicular with sine so 12 into sine theta so you can see that how we will uh, how what how, how we can approach to basically calculate these distances clear so we determine the y and x okay and uh, now this distance y and this distance x we need this these two distances distances clear so if I recall you this approach basically so um, if I okay basically you know you see that we have one member in this and we have another member in this clear the length of this member is basically given that is 12 feet okay and I just draw a perpendicular okay and then I connect this joint with this line I assume that this is X and I assume that this is Y and then I determine this angle theta okay how that I determine this that angle this is angle alpha and you know uh, this member is basically with the horizontal making an angle of 45 degree okay now I add up these two angles and I deduct these angles from 90 degree okay so I deduct these two angle alpha plus 45 from this 90 degree and I get theta and the value of theta is you know 22.38 clear now using this angle and this side okay I I shave this triangle okay and I assume that this is X and this is Y and this is angle theta so from this I determine that x is equal to 4.57 and y equals to I think so 11.09 something clear 11.096 okay now we we basically determine this x okay and this x if I draw below okay this I draw below so this passing is basically 4.57 now I again use this triangle there okay which is just similar to this one because this side is also 12 feet and using the same trigonometrical uh, the angular angular values there okay and you will determine this x and y and that x basically equals to this x and that y equals to this y so therefore if I if I draw a neat sketch you know If I draw a neat sketch, so you know, I I mark this triangle, okay, and I assume that this is x and y. Then again, I determine this angle theta by using this theta. I determine that this x is equal to four point something, and I determine this y is equal to eleven point something. Clear? Now again, I can build this triangle there, okay and okay this triangle and this triangle is similar because this side is 12 and this angle will because this line is parallel to this line and the angle of this line with the horizontal is constant so therefore this triangle and this triangle are similar triangle okay and you know you see that this this is this is x and this is y so you can see that we have grids okay 
this is this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 and this is x4 okay now this spacing is basically i calculated the spacing is equals to 9 point something now this x is basically equals to x which is 4.57 clad and this x is also equals to so the spacing is uh, you know you can see that this is 4.57 and this is also 4.57 okay you must uh, note this point that this is x1 and this is x2 and this is x3 and this is x4 okay now so this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 and this is x4 and in other terms you know let's say I already defined this is A, B, Z and D. You must know that the joint B you can see that the joint B is located at a distance of 9 point uh, 9.12 clear? At a distance of 9.12 one two so our a b spacing will be nine point one two clad feet then our b c spacing will be four point five seven clad and our c d spacing will be same as four point five seven clad so these are our horizontal spacing clad in y direction basically uh, we have this this one and in first step I calculate that this spacing is basically equals to um, uh, that is equals to you you know that the distance this is this distance is how much this distance is 11.09 okay 11.09 so and the height you can see this one that is 13 feet so we have another uh, spacing you can say are we have this one is z1 and this one z2 and this one z3 clear so this spacing will be you know this spacing will be 13 minus this one 11.09 you can get this one clear you can get this passing and this passing is equals to 1.904 clear 1.904 clear now if you have okay if you have this this is 1.904 you know so if you subtract this 1.904 from this 11.09 you can get this distance clear if you subtract 1.904 from 11.09 you will get this distance this height okay so this distance will be 11.90 minus 1.904 and that will be you can see that this distance will be 9.192 you can also get this distance by another way you see that this y1 and y2 is basically the total height of this truss okay so if you have a total height and you subtract the this middle height you can get the height this one okay this is another approach okay 
so you can using different approaches uh, to calculate these kind of uh, distances or you can say spacing clear so this is 9.192 and in, in, in initial uh, in, the, in the beginning of this lecture you see that I will calculate this by using the trigonometric ratio as well and I think so that will be equals to 13 into sine of this angle 45 I think so it is also equals to this one so you can get this this dimension by three ways the one way is this way this is a little bit you know complicated a lengthy way the easy way is this that you can add up this 11.09 with 11.09 because this distance is also 11.09 so if you add these two dimensions you know you will get the total height and if you subtract this half height 13 feet from the total height you can get the lower height so that will also be one approach and the other approach is this one if you multiply this 13 you have this side 13 and you have this angle you can calculate this height as well so this is another approach and now you have another z4 so your z4 will be you know your your this height and that height is basically y and this is equals to 11.09 so these are the final spacing okay which we will use these are the final spacing you know this one this one this one and these spacing clear we will use and we will develop our model I think you you will understand but mm, the whole calculation depends upon your own imaginary work you know that how you can make triangle how you will develop the triangles into this trusses and how you can calculate this spacing okay you can use different ways as well and you are you know but the last approach you know uh, your final approach will be will be will be you know uh, will will be to calculate the spacing okay from z1 to z2 z2 to z3 and z4 to z z3 to z4 and from a to b e to c and c to d you must determine the spacing clear what approach you will adopt it you need these distances now let's see we will model uh, this required truss make sure your units will be will be in found feet clear so convert unit to found feet okay select new template here we use grid only okay in x direction we have basically how much axis one two three four while in z direction we have one two three four so four by four we will use okay so in x direction we have we need four in y direction we don't need in z direction we have four in x direction we assume any value okay in later i will use edit option and i will develop the trust so let's say i i i i, I assume those values and now i will uh, edit this spacing okay right click edit grid data modify and select spacing found feet you make sure clear now from A to B you have a spacing of from A to B you have a spacing of 9.12 9.12 from B to C you have a spacing of 4.57 4.57 and from B C to D you have a same spacing that is 4.57 clear now coming to Z Z1 Z2 from Z1 to Z2 you have a spacing of 9.19 I think so
from 9.192 clear 9.192 clear and from Z2 to Z3 you have a spacing of 1.904 1.904 and from Z3 to Z4 you know this is the last spacing and that will be 11.096 11.096 okay so these are our final spacing okay make sure you are you will, you will be found fit clear okay and okay this is our required truss clear oh sorry grids now we need to model our required truss within this these grids clear so I choose this one I start from this point I need to choose this one and then I need to choose this one then I have to select this point I think so no this one clear and then I need to choose this one clear and press escape button then again choose this one and in you you need to join these two point these two nodes okay escape and again choose this one this node and this node so this is our required truss you know you see that how I can make approach to develop to model this truss so this 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 why that at the, at the, at the beginning lectures I mentioned you people that the inclined trusses will be a little bit tricky complicated you need some kind of mathematical works after that you can able to model those trusses so this is the basically way that how we will approach to such type of trusses we have both hinge supports clear so now we will assign ok and then we have to apply loads in horizontal direction both are 300 found ok so assign joint loads forces make sure this is zero clear modify ok and you see that the load is applied in x direction in positive x direction so 300 found clear units global you can use both these options as well okay okay loads are assigned now model do not run run now and save the project this is example number 49 save it and see the results these are the results you can check okay you have only one two members that is this member in compression and the rest of the members are in tension so let's see check this one member that with our results it's satisfied or not so a b you can check c d c d is this member so that is 720 CB sorry CB this is CB 720 and CD is basically 780 so let's see We have 780 that is CD okay and there we have 731 okay and the other member is you can see that uh, that is BA member that is 722 BA member is 722 which is 718 clear so our result are close one thing I show I make sure uh, to you people 
is that that it is basically uh, this small amount of error is basically due to the rounding of these figures uh, when I try this example you know I can get 100% accurate results there you can see that this is 671 I get this 781 okay and I get this 780 exact values so why these uh, basically these error are this is due to you know uh, due to uh, these error is basically due to uh, rounding off if you if you if you use exact values okay what values you get you know and uh, what values you get basically and uh, you don't round up to two points okay so you can get 100% accurate results because I get these results when I was trying these exam this, this example okay so therefore I uh, I suggest you to make calculation accurate okay using sign cause and rounding the figure up to four digits clear so you uh, and then you practice this example uh, I assure you uh, that uh, the results will be satisfied and the results will be okay so there we complete this example and uh, you see that how we can uh, model such type of trusses inshallah in coming lectures I will do such type of examples as well and you you see that how we can uh, model such type of other complicated trusses so if you have any question any suggestion any comments uh, please share with me uh, on my channels watch the channel watch my channel and enjoy thank you